Second topic, the Catholic Church. It was a pretty extraordinary situation on Sunday um, in parishes all across the country. Individual priests were reading letters from their bishops in that, in that particular parish that were pretty much denouncing the Obama administration about these provisions dealing with contraception, mm -hmm. Catholic uh, hospitals uh, and whatnot uh, in, in connection with the Affordable Care Act. I guess my question would be, how does the administration justify having the federal government institute a law that basically forces people to violate their religious beliefs? Well, uh, that misrepresents actually what the uh, decision about the implementation of the Affordable uh, Care Act. That well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me answer. Um, the decision was made, as, as we have said in the past, and Secretary Sebelius has said, uh, after very consi uh, careful consideration, and the administration believes that this proposal strikes the appropriate balance between respecting religious beliefs and increasing access to important preventive services. We will continue to work closely with religious groups during this transitional period to discuss their concerns. Um, it's important to go to your point that this approach does not signal any change at all in the administration's policy on conscience protections. The President and this administration have previously expressed strong support for existing conscience protections, including those relating to health care providers. That support continues. Um, I also would just note that our robust partnerships with the Catholic Church and other communities of faith uh, will continue. Uh, the administration has provided over $2 billion to Catholic organizations over the past three years, in addition to numerous non-financial partnerships that promote healthy communities and serve the common good. The, the bishops are saying just the opposite. They're saying that basically if somebody is working in a Catholic hospital and, and they don't cover contraception for their employees, that they're in violation of the federal law. So I don't understand how you're saying that there's still conscious protections. They would violate the law, wouldn't they? Well, this is not direct an individual to do anything, first of all. Uh, the new guidelines require most private health plans to cover preventive services, including contraception, for women without charging a copay, coinsurance, or a deductible. The guidelines were recommended by the nonpartisan Independent Institute of Medicine. Uh, the administration also released a proposed regulation that allows nonprofit religious employers that offer insurance to their employees the choice of whether or not to cover contraception services. After reviewing comments from the public, the administration announced that the final rule on preventive health services will ensure will ensure that women with health insurance coverage will have access to the full range of recommended preventive services, including all FDA-approved forms of contraception. Um, I, and I would just note that we will work with religious uh, groups during a, a, a transitional period to, to discuss their concerns. Uh, but this, this, this decision was made after careful consideration by Secretary Sebelius. Um, and we believe that the proposal strikes uh, the appropriate balance between religious beliefs on the one hand and the need to increase access uh, to important preventive services for women. Last thing on this, E.J. Dionne, though, um, I mean, a lot of Republicans are the Catholic, <coughs> but a Democrat who's Catholic, E.J. Dionne, wrote the Washington Post yesterday that the President, in his words, utterly botched this policy, and he said he, quote, threw his progressive Catholic allies under the bus. So despite everything you just read, well, so I you have so Democratic Catholics the idea that, that that's not true. That there are people who disagree. Well, I, Ed, all you're pointed out is that there are people who disagree with the decision. We understand that not everyone agrees with it. All I can tell you is it was made after very careful consideration based on the need to balance uh, those two issues and that uh, the, ac the, the, the necessity to provide access to preventive services for women was uh, an important consideration. What about so, the constitutional right to freedom of religion? Is that well, still? I, I don't believe there are any constitutional rights issues here, uh, but I would refer you to, uh, to others to, to discuss that. That's, that's not, I, I understand that there's controversy and, and we, we understand that and we, we will continue to work with religious groups to discuss their concerns, um, but on the other side of this was the important need to provide access to women uh, to the preventive uh, services that they require. Um, and, you know, the thing you just read to me was a political observation. This was a policy based on the merits. Uh, if I follow up on no, that, let, me, uh, let me move around here. The Bishop of Phoenix um, uh, said the Catholics shouldn't comply with this law. Would there be any consequences for not? I'm the wrong guy to ask. Uh,